Allied leaders have been gearing up for the invasion of German-occupied France for over two years. Allied operations to soften up the Axis southern flank in North Africa, Sicily, and Italy has slowed preparations in the build-up for the retaking of France. However, these operations, including the disastrous raid at Dieppe and the operations in the Pacific, allowed the Allies to gain valuable experience in amphibious landings and develop effective combat tactics. The time to take back France had finally come by June 1944. Command of the invasion was given to U.S. General Dwight D. Eisenhower. The Germans had built what they called the Atlantic Wall, which was a series of fortifications all along the French coastline facing England, and the Allies employed many deceptions to try and keep the actual landing beaches secret. The Allied deception was aimed at making the Germans think they would land in the Pas de Calais area, not Normandy. One example of this deception was that Allied aircraft flew many more missions over the Calais area than Normandy in the months prior to the invasion. Air support for the invasion was carried out by the British 2nd Tactical Air Force and the American 9th Air Force stationed in southern England. During the weeks leading up to the invasion, these units would attack targets including rail yards, vehicles, airfields, radar installations, and communications all throughout northwestern France. They would also strive to destroy any Luftwaffe aircraft that could pose a threat to the invasion force. Preparations for the invasion, codenamed Operation Overlord, were completed by the end of May 1944. Due to poor weather, the invasion was postponed from the 5th of June to the 6th. This became D-Day, the Allied invasion of Normandy. Lushington Airfields, the 18th of April 1944, 7 a.m. Fresh-faced Wilson Overton, the newest pilot of the 355th Fighter Squadron, stepped up to his P-51B-5 Mustang. Having completed his training, this would be his first sortie into enemy territory. The flight of eight aircraft will be escorting bombers to the town of Amal, where they will attack their target. The 355th is tasked with protecting these bombers and ensuring they make it to their target and home again. Whoa, okay, um, just nearly clipped one of the other flight members. We're flying through some pretty horrible cloud here. Um, I can only see that one aircraft, so I'll stick with them. And hopefully we'll get out of this cloud fairly soon. Coming up for our first flight in our P-51. Well, there's more than there. Okay, hang on. Let's... Uh, More aircraft. Where are the rest? Why are we why are we trying this to form up in heavy rocket in combat sector? Over. Okay, why are we trying to form up in heavy cloud boys? This is this is ludicrous. I know I'm the rookie pilot, but this feels stupid. But anyway. Yeah, we're in a, um the 355th 355th Fighter Squadron flying these P-51 Mustangs. April 44 and uh, hopefully we'll... I've lost them. Ah. And hopefully um, we'll survive through April and May. Oh hello. That's home base. Ooh, talk about getting disorientated in the cloud. Right, where are they? This is not an auspicious start for a rocket. Five requesting landing approach. Over. Rocket. Proceed. Rocket. Five. Roger. Mayflower. This is rocket. Seven requesting landing approach. Over. Alright. I may have to. Um. Ah. There's somebody over there. Right, so we're going to form up with this aircraft over here and hopefully make our way to the rendezvous point. If not, I will make myself. Uh, direct to the rendezvous point to find the bombers and then hopefully we'll meet up with the the rest of the flight there uh, yeah, as I say not a great start
Okay, bit of good news. I found the flight. There they are. Heading towards the rendezvous point was the right uh, move. Look at this. What a beautiful morning. Bit of heavy cloud though, but absolutely stunning up here today. It's an absolute pleasure to be up here. You so say the bombs are just in front of us. Um, so we're going to close in on them now and hopefully um, over the sea this cloud will clear up and we get a better view of what's going on uh, I'm guessing that they've met up with the bombers and they've started their zigzagging which is good can't see them yet everything's obscured there they are, ah they're the bombers Can't quite work out what they are from here. Ah, uh, B-26 Marauders. Okay, uh, we've been released to land our own base now, thanks to the successful completion of the escort mission. The following day, the 355th Fighter Squadron will be going up once again for another bomber escort as they continue to pound targets in northern France. Today they'll be rendezvousing with the bombers before heading east to hit a target in the port town of Dunkirk. Our job, once again, is to make sure the bombers get in, bomb their target, and will safely return back to Britain. Welcome back everyone, we're up again today for Wilson's second mission. Again, we're escorting a flight of B-26 Marauders as they go across the channel to uh, hit some targets in the port of Dunkirk. Probably part of the invasion preparation. Knocking out vital targets and convincing the enemy that this is where the invasion will come. shortest distance between the mainland and the UK and uh, Calais to Dunkirk region would be the obvious choice for the invasion. So far nothing to report, that's just one of the, the friendlies flying loops around the, um, the bombers so we don't leave them behind. The cloud, as I say, is cloudy, but it's nowhere near as overcast as yesterday. It's a lot, it's a lot higher, and uh, yeah, it's um, some quite good visibility down here. So um, we're going to continue to escort and uh, maybe find a little bit of enemy activity further on. There is Dunkirk. I can see it looks like there's already been a couple of four engaging fighter to the southeast. Range three miles out. Rough man, five. Engaging fighter to the south. High. 
Range 5 miles. Out. Ruffman 2. Engaging fighter to the south. Range about 3.5 miles. Out. I didn't see him. Old formation. Release on my command. Out. We've got the, the bombers over there, just about to set up for their attack run. Um, yes, they're in this cloud. Ruffman 3, engaging fighter to the southeast. Range Let's climb. about 2 miles. Let's climb above this cloud. Ruffman 6, engaging fighter to the southeast. 5, range 5 ah. miles. Out. I see them. Ruffman 2, engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about 2 miles. Out. I think this is enemy. Ruffman 4, engaging fighter to the southeast. Low. Range half mile. Out. Ruffman 5, engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about Possibly. 1 mile. Out. Bombs away. That could be a Fog Wolf 19 slipping at the, uh, the black smoke and the shape of the wings. We're all climbing. They are Fog Wolf 190s. Here we go. Squeeze the blood back into the uh, extremities. Ruffman three, engaging fighter. It's close. Out. Ruffman four, engaging fighter. It's close. I'm smoking. Back in on him. We got him smoking. Always his, his body went. On his tail. Two, engaging fighter. Low. Range five and a half miles. Out. Rough man four. Engaging fighter. More to hits. Northeast. Range half mile. Out. He's slowing down. Has he got an engine fire? That's a Mustang as well. 
Okay. Appears to be the actions behind us. So I'll race back to where the uh, the other fighters are. You can see the bombers down there in the gap in the cloud. Aircraft contacts up high. I can hear the radio chat over so often saying they're engaged and maybe one of those is enemy, but one's going to the right, he's not being followed by the others. So I don't know. Hello. like somebody's trying to get on his tail. Let's just cut the corner and have a look what's going on here. He's down there. Can't tell from this distance. That's a Mustang. That's obviously a Mustang as well. He's smoking. Mustang. I can't see anyone chasing them. Wait, who's this? Got two down here. Somebody's just gone in. Okay, we've got... This isn't another flight of aircraft, is it? They look like... Foghorn 190s. Can I tuck in behind them? To the north. Range half mile. Oh, they're Okay, um, I think it's time we um, made some uh, Made some tracks and got out of here. We've got three Fort Fourth 190s over there. I just jumped them, shot one down. Man three, engaging fighter to the northeast, range two and a half miles. Out. If the others turn around and come in, I will come in as well, but I'm not going to take on three uh, when I'm low on ammo. Man three, engaging fighter to the northeast. Five. Range three miles. Sounds like they're in, in some sort of engagement with another flight as well. Okay, there's the rest of the flight. Happy days, bombers below. Mayflower, this is the four. Requesting landing approach. Over. Proceed. 
Rockman 4, Roger. Rockman 3, engaging fighter to the east. Range 5 miles out. I wonder if those Fort Wolf 190s are six. coming for the uh, the bombers. To the east. Range about four and a half miles. To the east. Range about one mile out. Rockman Range eight. one mile. Engaging fighter to the east. Range two and a half miles. Is that them? Out. That could Rockman be them. Five. Engaging fighter to the east. They're engaging. Range right. Two and a half miles out. Rockman six. Engaging fighter to the southeast. Range about two miles out. Here we go. Engagement with the 190s. Take two. Drop me. Five. Engaging fire to the northeast. Range half mile. Out. Clouds. Engaging fire to the northwest. Low. Range some G's. Out. Trying to keep it under control. Rough man. Fire. Engaging fire. It's close. Out. We're so close. Rough man six. Engaging fighter to the southeast. Rockman six, target destroyed. Rockman Got him. six, target destroyed. Rockman I could be seven. kill number three. Fighter. He's on the tail of a, well he was on the tail of a uh, Mustang. Managed to shake him off that. Rockman 6, engaging fighter to the southeast, low, range two and a half miles, out. Oh, it came in far too quick. Keep the mission out. Coming in on his tail again as he tries to jump on somebody else. That third one's over there. That's a Mustang. Mustang. Down at Boston. Oh, there he is. He's hiding in the, uh, the metalwork of the canopy. Following his smoke trail. Oh, I'm going to shot him. Oh, well played, sir. Well played. Thankfully I've got friendlies to try and keep him off my tail. Is that him? No. Is that him? Yes. No, that's a Mustang. Rockman 6, target destroyed. Rockman 3, target destroyed. Good shooting boys, have they gone both? Who's the bad guy here? Mayflower, this is leader. Requesting lane to clear. Over. Affirmative. Clear to load. Leader. Copy. It's probably this guy. They're all swarming in. Careful not to get hit by a friendly flak. 
Alright, he's coming in. We we'll, won't we'll block him. Got another one up here. We'll just uh, find our time. Well done, Rothman 7. Good kill. Right, I think we should be safe now. And the bombers are landing, so hopefully that was a good mission. Lots of uh, action. Yeah, the bombers are landing. Good stuff. Right, that should free us up as we are forming up to um, head back to our own base. And to add to his pilot's badge, Wilson Overton has been awarded the Air Medal. Look at that, beautiful. And a Silver Star. Fantastic. Three kills in a mission. Still relatively inexperienced as uh, only our second time out and we have received the Silver Star. Incredible. Oh, and if we look at the full mission briefing, um, our flight lead... He was a, a major, major Jason Fern, was shot down and killed, unfortunately, on this mission. Um, Gene Hernan was also uh, up, but um, was able to come back to base, but uh, was no um, kills to his name. Wilson managed to down three aircraft in only his second mission, which is fantastic. And um, man... Manuel Resetta. Uh he's been wounded. Okay, Manuel, he's a captain. Um, he'll be out for some time. Um, Jack Runyan also came up, but with no kills to his name. Donovan Lasco, the same. Rodney Schmick came up. Uh, he's just a flight officer as well. Uh, he managed to do bag a enemy aircraft, as did Horace Robinson. Look at that, us um, lowly flight officers managing to uh, get the five aircraft kills for the squadron this time. Looking into the unit HQ, look at that, the 355th fighter squadron with the, the bulldog with the, the flight cap. Isn't that an awesome, awesome emblem? Love that. Uh, scrolling through, uh, the commander is Donovan Lasso. Uh, and there we, you can see the the wonderful boys that fly with us. And here we are, Wilson Overton, in service. Suddenly we lost the Major. Uh, and here we are, Wilson Overton, our new hero, which we were following this time. Born on 23rd of July 1918 in northern Texas. He was the last child of five siblings. His family... And his ancestors had lived in Texas for over a hundred years, having migrated to the region in the late 1830s and the end of the Texas Revolution. It was at this time that the Overton family received a land grant for several hundred acres of the Republic of Texas and turned the land into wheat and cotton farm. Fantastic. He's a, cotton f he's a wheat and cotton farmer from Texas. And look at that. This pilot's badge and a day later he earns his air medal and the silver star. Fantastic, and just for confirmation, three enemy aircraft kills to his name. So, join me next time when we'll see what further adventures Wilson Overton has to experience as we come up to a critical time in the war and the lead up to the invasion of June 1944. It should be exciting if we can survive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.